It's always fun when you're at the Airstream factory because you never know what you're going to see. And this one's a really rare Airstream. It's an Airstream Pan American. I think you can see it right here. Very few were made. I'm not sure what year they were built. I think it's sometime in the 2000s. But as you can see here on the back, this was Airstream's idea for a toy hauler. And so you can see it's got the big hatch. And like a toy hauler, the back end is segregated from the front. And so you got your living area up there. And back here, you've got an area to carry a motorcycle or bicycles or whatever you might want to haul along. It's built on the 34 foot chassis and with the triple axles. So it's very unique and very different. We're back here in Jackson Center and we're having Airstream Connect added to our trailer at the service center. And Airstream Connect is a Wi-Fi solution that can be installed on an Airstream trailer. And we decided to have that updated to ours. So we will show you in this video everything there is to know about Airstream Connect. So come on along. behind me is our uh, trailer right there and the technician is working on it um, he's um, getting up on the roof and installing the external antenna for Airstream Connect and earlier we went through and did a complete unboxing of the system and uh, showed can show you everything that you get with Airstream Connect and later in the video we'll show you how it works and the connection that we get with it Unboxing video. <laughs> so these you won't use. Okay, right. Um, separate antennas. But this is this is the the router setup here. Yes. Oh. It's all connected. Oh yeah. So you got a couple options with this plate to go out the side or go through the roof. And then surface mount the, the cable across yes. the roof. So basically, uh, I'd have to take this off. Yeah. This this part will come off. Right. Then right. it gets the wire gets ran out to the side. That's so. probably what we do up there, right? Yes. Yeah. We'll use this one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thanks, Ross. Um, 
there's little screws here we take off. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool. Yep. It's a lot of wires to run. There's one wire you won't use on this. It's an extra, but they're all labeled. Uh huh. So. Okay, so these are okay. All the, in, the antenna wires and everything, and then probably power gets carried through all that. Yes. Yeah. So there's one of them you won't use. And then you can do DC on this. I oh, will use this here. This is for with the 110 plug. Right. Right. But we'll use 12 volts, so yep. you can boondock and use it. Yep. Awesome. Yep. This is the Airstream Connect modem. It is made by Pepwave, and it is a very heavy-duty um, built modem. It's basically designed for police cars, ambulances, and special service vehicles like that. And it is connected to an external antenna here. Um, it is a Wemo antenna, and there's also a GPS antenna in the system so that it will give you GPS coordinates and, and on the app show you where you're actually located. Um, and over here on this side you've got a category 5 um, internet cable out and your power. So there is the antenna for the Airstream connected. It sits on the roof of the Airstream on the driver's side and is permanently mounted and you can see the cable runs along the roof and then goes in to the refrigerator vent. I think from a hardware perspective, this is very good stuff. Airstream did very well in picking what they did here for the modem and for the external antenna. They are both high quality pieces of equipment and are probably worth the price that you're paying for that. I don't think you're paying a huge premium just because you're buying it through Airstream. And now I'm going to kind of go into, once we've had the system installed, what's it been like for us? And so the first thing was you have to pair the system with your cell phone. And there's an app on your cell phone that you can um, download that allows you to connect to the system. And one of the first problems we had with the system is it would not allow me to connect to the app. It wouldn't allow me to pair the system. And so we ended up having to um, talk to the Airstream help desk, and we actually did that while we were at Jackson Center, so I w it was more of an in-person talking to the person. Um, his name is Corey Rex, and he actually came out to our Airstream and checked out the system and you know couldn't see anything initially wrong with it, so he had to go back um, and look into it from his end. And he asked for some information. He asked for me to send the barcode that is used on the system um, it, to pair. They were very helpful in trying to get it to work for us and you know, answered all my questions and everything. But we've continued to have problems with um, pairing to the system and getting all the functionality out of that. All right, so now I'm going to interrupt this video because things have changed since I um, edited this video and was literally ready to post it this afternoon. Yesterday I got contacted by someone at Airstream and they asked me to turn the system on because there was a firmware update that my router did not have and they wanted to make sure that we updated that and make sure to see if that made a difference. And it turns out it really did. It, it fixed most of my issues with Airstream Connected. And so I'm gonna show you that right now. So up here, I'll, I'll put my screen for my phone and I'm gonna go into the login screen here. And you're gonna see that now it shows you that I'm connected to AT&T and it gives me a signal strength. This is all stuff that wasn't here before when I was using it. It was more like my um, phone and the app and the router were not communicating at all. And so if I go into settings, the setting screen has changed and it now shows the um, uh, Wi-Fi 
is connected to, that well, it shows Wi-Fi and it shows cellular and it shows cellular using AT&T and I can actually go into now and log into a Wi-Fi network you can see that whoop, it's going to update and it's going to see that here's my home uh, network and I'm going to connect into it and it's going to ask me for a password and I will delete this part out all right connect to the network and it's going to now connect in to that and it says the change is complete so now if I go back into here it will take a minute or two but it should update and say that my Wi-Fi is now the Zephyr, Zephyr is available there I'm still showing 18 here because I'm AT&T on the main screen because I'm not using the Wi-Fi net the Zephyr travels network but if I were to turn off prioritize cellular network I believe that will push the home uh, network of Zephyr in as being what I'm going to use so does it change yet these changes are exact just happening early today so I haven't had a lot of time to use it but as you can see now on the main screen it's we're now using the Zephyr um, Wi-Fi network I'll go back into here now you can see Zephyr is up there and if I want to go back to AT&T &T, I switch it here it switches it and it will bring up AT&T and it will take a minute it says AT&T no net internet it takes a minute for that to get out and connected and show up on here but it does come back in here and will show the other thing that is changed is I now have capability to go in and change the passwords I didn't have that before and on the guest network I can actually turn it off which I actually kind of like that idea um, because I may not want to use this you know I don't want this guest network out there all the time um, so I can turn that off so it's only broadcasting the main Airstream uh, network and I can set up my own password which you see that password that's in there now it won't be there in the future don't worry so I'm not sharing anything that will be there long term but so it is that part of the app is much improved so I will now take you back to the previously um, edited and recorded video so we're gonna go back a couple um, a few weeks when I when I put this I'll share with you some of the some of my observations on how Airstream connected works for us one of the first things I noticed is the cellular data is a little slow and we had a hotspot modem in here before and it was just one of those little uh, puck shaped um, modem wireless modems that you know went into a, a cellular system and that always seem to have fairly good connection except for when the signal was very weak and I've noticed when we switched over to the Airstream connected we literally switched we had one day of the um, hotspot and we switched right over to the Airstream connected the next day didn't move the trailer or anything like that and I noticed that the Wi-Fi seemed to be a little slower than it was before um, that surprised me um, I did some speed tests on the system and it did come back as not being notably slower and for an example the modem was giving me an Mbps strength of 23 Airstream connected at the same location the next day was giving me 17 so it's a significant decrease in performance now this is just using the system completely out of the box in the way you're supposed to use it the next thing we noticed is the external Wi-Fi range is limited and from what what I mean by that is the system has an external antenna and that antenna broadcasts the Wi-Fi signal outside the Airstream so that you can use it around the campground and everything and one of the places we thought we would want we'd be able to use this would be in the truck when we're towing the Airstream you know a lot of times when we're going down the road Diane will use her iPad and you know look up things on the internet and other things while we're traveling and we've always been able to use our hotspot for that even though even when it's in the Airstream 
we've always been able to connect into that hot spot. We noticed that we could not connect in very well with the Airstream connected while we were in the truck. Another issue that we've noticed on the system is the GPS um, coordinates aren't always correct. Um, our, sh our flash up on the screen up here, um, a screenshot of that, that was taken when we got home from our travels. The Airstream Connected still had the trailer in the Virginia area, actually had it in Virginia Beach, and it was showing our location as being in our home location in Rochester. So that concerned me, and I, I don't know why that is. So one more interruption. I wanted to show you some of the other features on the app that Airstream Connected gives you. And one of them is checklists. And you can see here you've got checklists for trip departure, for campsite arrival, and campsite departure. And you can drill into these checklists here and you can actually go through and like check propane, fill if needed. You can just check that off you know, if it's, you've done that. Um, if you have a generator, it gives the option to check the fuel level, make sure that's ready to go. Um, and then go on down to a number of things here that they suggest you do before you leave. Um, the campsite arrival basically will walk you through setting up the trailer for your, your camper and putting out the awnings and such like that. I'm not a big fan of these checklists. I think you can put your own checklist together. It would be much more um, usable, but it's added in. It's added value that they've put in there. The other thing on the app that they have is a GPS capability. And so there's a GPS in the modem and it extends out to the external antenna and so you can see on here that it shows you the trailer location and then it shows you your location based off of your phone and so you can use this to click on here and it will take you into your map program and it will tell you how to get back to your rig so it's i don't know how useful that is again Something we're, we're play with when we get out into the real world and, and, you know, camping and try it and see if it's helpful maybe when we go hiking someplace or something like that. I'm sure there's advantages to it, especially if you're into a new area that you might want to use that, but I'm not sure yet how useful that's going to be. So that's pretty much everything in the app. There is a more screen that will allow you to call into roadside servants or, or connect right into Airstream. You can call directly to Airstream. You can also have access to Airstream manuals through this. You know, just extra features um, that they offer that, you know, are built into the app. Um, again, don't know how useful they're going to be. Something to try as we get use using this more. So that's pretty much everything for the app. So I'm going to take you back to my conclusions on Airstream Connected. So realistically, I don't think this is living up to my expectations. It's a very expensive system. For us, the basic system for anybody who buys it, including us, we bought our system, we weren't sponsored or anything for this, our system costs $1,000. That's just for the hardware. We spent another $650 to have it installed. You have to have this system professionally installed to use it. Otherwise, you they won't even sell it to you for one thing. They won't sell you over the counter and the advantage to having Airstream connected is the uh, plan that they offer with AT&T that allows you to get unlimited Wi-Fi for essentially $30 per month. And so you have to have Airstream install the system to get that. I thought having the unlimited internet at a, at a fairly reasonable cost of $30 would be an advantage. Our Wi-Fi hotspot cost $65 per month, and that was an unlimited plan too. And so I figured I'm saving $35 per month. But when you look at that, and you look at the cost that I paid to have the system installed, plus the cost of the system itself, it's probably going to be five years or more before I really recoup 
and, and start saving anything on that compared to my other system. So you have to look at what are the other advantages of that. And to be honest with you, at this point, we haven't had the chance to test out the system for signal strength. That's something we will do in the future, and we will have a follow-on vi video on that. Um, but I'm hoping that with the external antenna and the fact that it is a dual um, Wemo antenna, that it should pull in a fairly strong signal. The hardware in this system looks to be very good. There are so would I recommend Airstream connected to another Airstream owner? That's a tough one. Um, I think the potential in the system is there. I think it's a little buggy and it might be because we are new adapters to the system. It's just been out. This is the first year for that. And I think Airstream has got some work to do to get the system up. But if you get Airstream connected and you get through some of the bugs of getting connected and pairing your phone with the system and you get to use it, I would think for a lot of people this would probably be a fairly good option for an Airstream. And I say that because once you've got it up and going, there's really not a lot to it. There's not a lot of fuss with it. Um, you don't have to go into a web browser and, and, and look for things. It's, it's all app-based. And so from that perspective, I think the potential is there that it could be a very good system for someone who's not very technically inclined. But unfortunately, the issues with getting connected are going to be frustrating to that person. So until they fix that and make it a better system to hook up with and work with, I'm not sure I would be comfortable recommending it to somebody um, at this point. Hopefully Airstream gets their act together on this and it gets better. But at this point, it's not quite there. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. We post videos on a weekly basis. We do videos on all types of things, campground reviews, places we've been, and technical review videos like this. If you're still listening and watching at this point, you're really a dedicated Airstream person and you're really interested in Airstream Connected. If you are a person who's already got Airstream Connected, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment and share your experiences with Airstream Connected. I'd be really interested to hear how that was working for you.